In this video, we'll look at the different parts of the Let's Start Coding code editor and the Let's Start Coding app. Everything you see here will be available on the Windows and Macintosh downloadable software from Let's Start Coding. If you're using a Chromebook, some things may look a little bit different, but I'll point those out as we go. Looking at the code editor window, this is where your code lives and where you'll make the changes. So everything inside this box is code that you can update and change to run your own coding experiments. Almost every number within code can be updated and you can see what difference that makes to the components, the speed your program runs, or in some cases, colors and sounds on your hardware. If we look at how the code editor works, starting from right to left, there's the upload your code button. When you press this, the code editor is going to send the code from the code editor to your maker board. So you need to remember that every time you make a change to your program, you upload it to see that effect. There's a little status message in the bottom right of the code editor that you can watch, and it will show when you're uploading and when the upload is complete. If you see that the code editor is uploading to your maker board, for more than 15 seconds, hit upload again to give that another try. The drop down menu should say LSC board when your maker board is plugged in correctly to your computer. If this drop down menu is blank, that means the Let's Start Coding app doesn't recognize anything that's plugged into your computer as a maker board. Make sure you check that the green power light on your maker board is on. It's easy to get the USB cable reversed and then it may look like everything's plugged in correctly, but actually the USB cable could be upside down. If you're using a Chromebook, this drop down menu will not say LSC board. It will have some string of letters and numbers. If you're using a Chromebook and you see multiple options here, unplug other USB devices from your computer, like a mouse or an external keyboard, and then refresh the page and see if there's just one option under this drop down when only your maker board is plugged in. When that happens, select that item from the drop down menu and you should be able to upload your code. If you have two identical listings under this drop down menu on your Chromebook, you can select either one. It shouldn't make a difference. Next, we have a font size drop down menu so you can make your code larger or smaller. And finally, we have the restore button. So if you're making changes to your code and maybe you accidentally delete something and now your code won't upload or you're getting an error that you can't quite solve, you can always hit restore. Restore takes the code back to the example program you started with. So you are going to lose any changes that you had, but you're sure to get back to a working program. Outside of this code editor window, but within the Let's Start Coding app, there should be an edit menu. When I click it, I see about 10 options drop down, including Save Code As and Open File. You can save your program anytime you want to your computer and it will save as a .txt or text file. You can also open your code files by clicking Open and navigating to wherever you saved that .txt file and click Open and it will open into your code editor. The Save and Open features are not available on Chromebook. If you ever just want a blank code window to play around in, you can just select everything in the code editor and hit delete. 